Hello, I'm Richard Cambridge and welcome to Popcorn Quiz, the panel show that tests to the limit your knowledge of all things cinema. Do you know your De Niro from your Pacino or your John Williams from your John Barry? We're going to put our two teams of film buffs to the test to see who will go through to the final round and win our grand prize, a trip to Hollywood. Will they be able to impress the Academy and dazzle us on the red carpet? Or will they be a flop at the box office? So it's lights, camera, action. Let's bring on the first team. <laughs> Hi guys, we've got Jules, Mira and Raoul. And um, what's your team name? We're Beauties and the Beast. Beauties and the Beast, thanks for being with us today. How did you come up with that name? It's pretty obvious why. The two beauties, <laughs> beauties. and the beast. Yeah. And the beast. Uh, well, it's lovely to have you here, thanks very much. Um, let's meet the other film fans you'll be up against today. Let's bring out the second team. <laughs> Have Joanna and Adam, welcome. Thanks for coming on the show. What's your team name? We're the Rebel Alliance, Richard. The Rebel <laughs> Alliance, the Rebels, guys. Yeah. Um, how, how did you come up with that name? Well, we just love Star Wars. Big, big fans. Big <laughs> Star Wars fans, sci-fi fans. That's good news. So, uh, good luck to both teams. Let's start with round one. Each team will take it in turns to choose from one of four film categories. We've got heroes and heroines, villains, sidekicks and settings. There'll be two questions to answer per category, but once a category has been chosen, it cannot be chosen again. A correct answer will earn the team one point. But to see who goes first, I'm going to ask a decider question. The team who gets the closest correct answer will get to pick first. So here's your decider question. To the nearest million, how many cinema tickets were sold in the UK in 2014? I'm going to ask Beauties and the Beast first. To the nearest million, how many cinema tickets were sold in the UK in 2014? 50? <laughs> one one to the nearest million? 100. 56. 100. How many do you think? 50. 56. 56 million. 56 million. Taking it over to the Rebel Alliance. How many do you think? To the nearest million, how many cinema tickets were sold in the UK in 2014? Uh, we say about 80 million. 80 million? Yep. 80 million. The correct answer is actually 157 and a half million. So, Rebel Alliance, you were the nearest, so you get to pick categories first. Uh, which one would you like to go for? Um, heroes and heroines. Heroes and heroines. OK, I've got two questions for you. Your first question is, what is Superman's real Kryptonian birth name? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> got a caption here to help you. Superman's real Kryptonian birth name. <laughs> no, it's definitely not Peter Parker. <laughs> I don't think we know. Any ideas? <laughs> Have no idea. No, it's actually Cal L. It's not Clark Kane, but Cal L. Um, second question. In the Alien quadrilogy, name this actress who plays the heroine Ripley. Got a caption here again to help you. Oh, the actress. Who's this actress? The actress. Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. Weaver. Sigourney Weaver. Sigourney Weaver is a correct answer. Now, Beauties and the Beast, it's time for you to pick. Your category. We've got villains, sidekicks, and settings left. Villains, yeah. Villains. villains. Yeah. villains. Which one do you like? Villains. Yeah. Movie villains. Your first question is: the actor Hugo Weaving played the main antagonist in the Matrix trilogy. What was his character known as? Agent Smith. We've got some options here for you. Let's have a look. See if that's on there. <laughs> We've got Agent Smith, Agent Jones, Agent mm, Brown, Agent and Smith. Agent Black. Was that your final answer? Agent Smith. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look. Agent Smith was, of course, the right answer. <laughs> Second question for you. Finish this quote from the Joker in the Batman film, The Dark Knight. It's not about the money. Not about the money. Oh, there's no more I've just got the, like, Jesse J song in my head. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not about the money. It's, it's about not about the, the money. You finished that sentence? I don't know. It's not about the money. It's about the... But it's about the terrifying innocent people. It's about terrifying innocent <laughs> people. Let's take a look to see if you're right. <laughs> It's not, it's about sending oh, a message. Yeah, everything, everything burns. burns. Oh, yeah. Back now to Rebel Alliance. Now it's time for you to pick your second category. You've got sidekicks or settings. Uh, Richard, I think we'll go for settings. Settings, movie settings it is. First question. In which film does the title character run up the stairs of Philadelphia's Museum of Art? Um, this is the Museum of Art here. Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. Uh, Rocky. Rocky, yeah. correct answer. So, second question. The king in the film, The King and I, starring Yul Brynner, is the ruler of which country? I've got a caption here to help you. Hmm. Any ideas? 
Mm. Well, I'm way too young to actually know the answer, unlike the other team. Um, <laughs> so I will go for Tibet, which Tibet. I hope is kind of right. The, <laughs> the actual answer is Siam, which is now known as Thailand. <laughs> so now, Beauties and the Beasts, um, you've been left with one category. We'll take sidekicks. <laughs> 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 Movie sidekicks, here are your final questions. First of all, match the robot sidekick to the film. If it helps, you can say them out loud if you know the names of the sidekicks. OK, can I, can I go? Yeah. yeah. OK, the first picture on the far left, that's Star Wars, mm -hmm. C-3PO and R2-D2. The middle picture is Big Hero 6. And then the last picture on the far right is Interstellar. OK, final answer. Let's see if you're correct. Star Wars Big Six Yay. and Interstellar. Yep, well done. Second question. In the 1986 film, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, what's the name of Ferris's best friend who suffers from hypochondria? Classic movie. What's his best friend's name? Bobby. Stuart, yeah. yeah Bobby. It's Cameron, Cameron <laughs> Fry. So that's all four categories gone. And after round one, Beauties and the Beasts have scored two points and the Rebel Alliance have also scored two points. <laughs> so uh, we're tied. The grand prize is still up for grabs as we move on to round two, Silent Silhouettes. Here the teams must nominate one of their members to stand in front of our giant green screen and be the prop master. To the side of the screen are a number of silhouetted images from famous films. The prop master must show two images without speaking whilst their teammates must try and guess the film. Each team has a maximum of one minute. To help them out, we've also put a backdrop from the movie behind the prop master. A correct answer wins you one point. Beauties and the Beasts, do you want to go first? Sure. Yeah. Who's okay. going to be your prop master? Yeah, that'll be me. Julie. Brilliant. Jules, do you want to make your okay. way over to our giant yeah. green screen? Thank you. Take it away. Cheers. Jules, are you ready? Your minute starts now. Ooh. What are we seeing, guys? What are we James seeing? Bond. James Bond. James Bond. James Bond, correct. Next one. Uh, King's Speech. King's Speech is correct, yep. What Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, yeah, excellent, move on. Yeah. What are these two? Oh. Um, up. up. Up, up is correct, yeah, next one. Jurassic Park. Oh, easy one, Jurassic Park, yeah, absolutely. Next one. Singing in the Rain. Singing in the Rain, classic, yeah, next one. Titanic. Titanic, yes, that's right. Snow White. Snow is the answer, yeah, next one. Hunger Games. Hunger Games, straight away, yes, next one. King Kong. King Kong, straight away, yep, next one. And that's the end of the round, that's time's up. It's now time for the Rebel Alliance to give it a go. Rebel Alliance, who have you chosen to be your prop master? I've chosen Adam. Adam, nice one. Do you want to make your way over to our giant green screen? Remember, a correct answer gets you one point. Adam, are you ready? Your one minute starts now. That's, uh... Grease? No. <laughs> uh, Grease, incorrect. It was Saturday Night Fever. Next one. Oh, my... I said that. What are we seeing here? That is Anchorman. Anchorman, straight away. Yep, yeah. next one. Um, Demon... Demon Barber of... What's it? Uh, what's some? The... Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd, yep, yeah, that's right. <laughs> next one. <laughs> What are you seeing there? The car with the wing doors. Oh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future, yeah. Next one. Jaws. Jaws, yeah. Next one. Uh, Finding, Finding, Nemo. Finding Nemo, yeah. That's right. Next one. Uh, Captain America. Is it called Captain America? The Avengers. The Avengers, that's right. Yes, next one. Uh, Amityville Horror. <laughs> time's up, I'm afraid. Your time's up. That last one there was um, was Psycho, which you got wrong, I'm afraid. Sorry wow. about that. Would you say that? <laughs> but Adam's got to make, make your way back over. Oh, it's all kicking off now. So at the end of that round, Rebel Alliance, you have eight points, and Beauties and the Beast, you're in the lead with 12 points. Yay. And remember, every point counts because one of these teams will be eliminated before the final round. <laughs> round three is Call the Shots. In this round, each team will be shown three film clips. The teams can score one point for each film that they can name and a bonus point if they can work out the connection between the films. Here's an example, everyone. 
What's the connection between what's new Pussycat, Casino Royale and The Front? Anyone as an example? So those films are all films that featured Woody Allen. So Rebel Alliance, as you're behind, you're going to go first. Here are your three clips. Well, forgive me for not leaping for joy. Bad back, you know. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate it when you make me laugh, even worse when you make me cry. We challenge you to a rumble. All out once and for all, except on what terms? So those were your three clips. Can you name those films? The Lion King, Ten Things I Hate About You. And unsure on the third. Not sure on the third. Mm. Do you want to take a guess on the third? It's, um... I can't remember. <laughs> OK, so the first one, yes, The Lion King. Ten Things I Hate About You, second one, and the last one was West Side Story. So that means, it, unfortunately, you don't get a chance to guess the link, which was um, the bonus point, movies based on Shakespeare plays. Uh, the Lion King's based on Hamlet. Um, Ten Things I Hate About You is Taming of the Shrew, and everyone knows West Side Story is Romeo and Juliet. So, Beauties and the Beast, it's time to see your three clips. You know what a turtle is? Of course. Same thing. I'm going to count to three. Get on the jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. I'm telling you, you're just going to have to kill me. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. You know, one time we had a hail bomb. For 12 hours, when it was all over, I walked up. Three massive films there. Can you, uh, Beauties and the Beast, name, name those films? Yeah, it's uh, the first one is Blade Runner. Blade Runner. The second one is Die Hard. Die Hard. And the last one is Apocalypse Now. Straight away. Three out of three. Yeah. Yes, and for a bonus point, can you name the connection? Ooh, not, what connects not those sure. three movies? Yeah, not sure. What should we go with? Um, they're edited by the same gentleman. It's good, but it's not quite right. They're actually all adaptions of novels. They're all based on books. So uh, Blade Runner is uh, based on Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. Die Hard. It's actually based on a novel, Nothing Lasts Forever by Roderick Thorpe, and Apocalypse Now is Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. So at the end of round three, Rebel Alliance, you now have 10 points, and Beauties and the Beast, you now have 15 points. <laughs> now it's time to get your brains in gear because our fourth round is Fast and Furious. And remember, at the end of this round, one team will be eliminated. Round four is Fast and Furious, our head-to-head -head quickfire challenge. It's the last chance for our teams to boost their scores. There'll be two minutes of movie trivia and we're covering all genres. So teams, buzz in as soon as you think you know the answer and it's one point for each answer that's correct. Best of luck to you. Your two minutes starts now. Who directed the 2013 film Gravity? Uh, I feel super the Beast. Uh, correct. What year was the film Quo Vadis released? Anyone? That was 1951. The character Stuart Little is what kind of rodent? Um, Rebel Alliance. A mouse? It's a mouse, correct. Name the film from this pixelated poster. Donnie Darko, isn't it? Rebel Alliance, Donnie Darko, correct. Which 1993 film is Angelina Jolie's screen debut? Beauties and the Beast? Hackers? It was Cyborg 2. Johnny Depp plays a famous Scottish playwright in the movie Finding Neverland. Name that playwright. Oh, Beauty's the Beast. Ian e. Barry? It was J.M. Barry, Barry, I'll give you that one. Thank Which you. 1927 film is considered the first ever talking picture? Beauty's and the Beast. The Jazz Singer? The Jazz Singer. Who was the pretty woman in the 1990 film with Richard Gere? <laughs> Julia <laughs> Roberts. <laughs> Julia Roberts. <laughs> Which 2014 film was shot over 12 years and depicts a boy growing up in... <laughs> Rebel Alliance? Boyhood. Boyhood, Boyhood correct. Name the British actor-director who played Dr Hammond in Jurassic Park. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Lord Richard Attenborough. It was Lord Richard Attenborough. Which former Beatle starred in the 1967 anti-war film How I Won the War? <laughs> Rebel Alliance. John Lennon. John Lennon, correct. Which is the first film in the James Bond series? The first James Bond. Doctor No. Rebel Alliance. Uh, Doctor No. Doctor No in 1962, it was. The quote, I see dead people, is from which... The Sixth Sense. The Sixth Sense, well done, Beauties and the Beast. In which film is responsible for the hit song, Always Look on the Bright Side of Life? 
Rebel Alliance. The Life of Brian. Monty Python, The Life of Brian, correct. Who wrote the screenplay for the full Monty? Oh, shit, is oh. that guy oh. who came to visit us? Yes. Oh, no. Beauty and the Beast. Simon Beaufoy. Simon Beaufoy yeah. is correct. And your time is up. Great effort, guys, from both teams. That was really close, but I can now reveal the all-important scores. Rebel Alliance, you've got 17 points. But it's Beauties and the Beast with 20 points Yay! that win the day. So that means Yay! that Beauties and the Beast are going through to the final round. Sadly, that means it's time to say goodbye to the Rebel Alliance. It's been nice having you. I hope you've enjoyed your time here. But you're not going away empty-handed, but we've got some popcorn quiz t-shirts to give you. Limited edition. Hope you enjoy those. Really appreciate you coming along. But now it's time to see whether the Beauties and the Beast can win the grand prize, a trip to Hollywood in our fifth and final round. That's a wrap. In That's a Wrap, our team chooses one of three film genres to answer questions from. They must then rank themselves in order of knowledge of that genre. Here's our scoreboard. Progression to the top and to the big prize starts with three easy questions, followed by three medium questions, and finally, three difficult questions. So whoever has decided to go first must answer three questions correctly in a row in order to bank that prize. If they do, the next team member will then take over. But if they get a question wrong, they go back to the start of that level. If the team makes it to the top of the ladder and to the final tenth question, the grand prize question, we will allow them to confer on the answer. OK, team, is that all clear? So you have three minutes to get to the grand prize, but firstly, which film genre would you like to choose? We've got action movies, comedy movies, or animation. Mm. Which think? one are you going to go for? Um, I'm personally, I think I'm hot on comedy and action. I'm not so good about animation. What do you think? Animation. I think quite, I'm quite strong on animation. Oh, really? Uh, Why don't you go first on animation? Because okay. it's easier. Yeah. 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 Happy? Okay, yeah. we'll do that. Yeah. 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 So, okay, you're going to go for animation? Okay, great. Now you've got to order yourselves. You've got to order yourselves to see who's going first with the easier questions and then who's going to be brave and take on the last questions. Yeah, well, it's definitely going to be me. That goes first. Okay, Jules yeah. to go first. Yeah. Should I go next and then you go last? I'll go last. Okay, yeah. okay Mira, second and Raoul, last. Great. Well, best of luck. And remember, a wrong answer will take you back to the start of that level. Ready? Okay. Your three minutes starts now. Okay. Yellow Submarine is the 1968 animated film inspired by the music of which band? The Beatles. The Beatles, correct. Who is the voice of Shrek in the Shrek franchise? Mike Myers. Mike Myers, straight away, yes. From which film is the song A Whole New World? Uh, that is the Aladdin. That is Aladdin, that's right. We'll move on to the medium questions. Art Garfunkel's hit single Bright Eyes briefly features in which 1978 British animated film starring rabbits. Yes, yeah, the one with the rabbits. Oh, uh, Watership Down. Watership Down. <laughs> the BFG is a 1989 British animated film based on Roald Dahl's book of the same name. What does BFG stand for? Big Friendly Giant. Big Friendly Giant. Third question, which singer-songwriter and former Genesis drummer wrote and performed the soundtrack for Disney's Tarzan? Phil Collins. Phil Collins, moving on to the hard questions. Well done, straight away. Hard question. Starring the voice of Mel Gibson, what was Aardman Animation's first feature film in 2000? So Aardman Animation's first feature film in 2000? All right. Any ideas? Nope. Move on. Which Japanese animation studio made the films My Neighbour, Toronto, Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle? Studio yeah. Ghibli. Correct. Based on Roald Dahl's book, what was Wes Anderson's first animated film? Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Which American actor voiced the villainous grasshopper in Pixar's A Bug's Life? Who voiced the grasshopper in Pixar's A Bug's Life? You've got plenty of time. Do you want to? Do you want to move on with this one? Yeah. Got, yep. We're going to go back now to the end of. Okay. Yep. Which director of The Incredibles also directed The Iron Giant for Warner Brothers Pictures? I uh, that was Brad Bird. Which 2007 French-Iranian animated film is a coming-of-age story set against the backdrop of the Iranian Revolution? Metropolis or something? Persopolis. Persopolis. I'll give you that one. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Which Irish singer-songwriter turned political activist played Floyd Pinkerton in the 1982 musical film Pink Floyd, The Wall? Bono. Sorry, it was Bob Geldof. <laughs> Good answer though. Uh, Littlefoot, Ducky, Petrie and Spike were all characters from which dinosaur film series? Um, These are hard questions. A time before, uh, a the land, land before, before time. time. The land before time. time. Ah. 
<laughs> Which voice actor features in every Pixar film released to date? Which voice actor? Which voice actor features in every Pixar film released to date? Every Pixar feature film released to date? Uh, I don't know. It's John Ratzenberger. How many Academy Awards was the French film The Triplets of Belleville nominated for? And time's up. Hard luck, Pooties and the Beast. You only managed to get six out of ten questions right, which means you don't go to Hollywood, but it does mean you get to take home two prizes banked, the film premiere tickets and cinema passes each for a year. It's pretty great. Of course, you get to take home some T-shirts as well. Yay. Thanks to you for watching. I'm Richard Cambridge, and this has been Popcorn Quiz. See you next time.